Hello, I'm American Johnson. This is non-compete. And why the f aren't you in a union? Let's talk about it. Unions have done some cool stuff for people throughout history. They figured out the whole not making children work situation. They did that. They, they worked out the minimum wage. They came up with that idea. The eight-hour workday, pretty cool, if you ask me. Should be lower, but they did it. They did. They got it down to eight. Could have been worse. Could have been twelve. Was tw it was twelve for a lot of people before the unions. So not sure if you've seen this tweet that's been flying around, uh, but basically Delta Airlines has this disgusting campaign where they are bombarding their employees with propaganda not to join a union. Uh, and, and this is one example of the propaganda that they're spreading. It says union dues cost around $700 a year. A new video game system with the latest hiss sounds like fun. Put your money towards that instead of paying dues to the union. It's your money, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so um, this is all part of the Don't Risk It, Don't Sign It campaign, which this is their, their website, their disgusting website. If you're working in the aviation industry in the United States of America and $700 a year, less than $60 a month is making that much of a dent in your lifestyle, then you, you really, you're the kind of person that needs a, a union. You're the person that needs the union the most. Not only that, but joining a union is, is going to more than make up for that $700 a year in union dues. Uh, statistically speaking, a typical union worker makes about $970 a week in 2014 compared to $763 for non-union workers. And that's basically held the line since the year 2000. That's a pretty strong track record. And uh, just doing the math on that real quick. Let's see, $970 a week times 52 weeks. That's 50440 for a union worker. Okay, and then 763 times 52. That's 39000 So you can do the math right there. That's a startling difference. That is a $10,000 a year difference between a union worker and a non-union worker in a year. So that $700 that uh, Delta wants you to be so concerned with, that is a drop in the bucket compared to what you'll be making if you join a union. So this website is disgusting. It's just filled with deceptive misinformation. And I encourage you, by the way, if you're, um, if you're concerned with this, you should go ahead and you should go to Delta on Twitter you know, and you should just, um, you should find Delta on Twitter. No, don't follow them. Just find them and just tweet to them and just, you know, just tell them to fuck off, you know? So this is something you should always, always, always do. Anytime you receive information, anytime somebody communicates with you, this is just basic media literacy, okay? There's some basic questions that you should always ask when somebody sends a message and you are a recipient, okay? You should always ask who is sending this message, okay? What do they have to gain, okay? Why are they targeting you, okay? Is there any ulterior motive? Did I spell that right? I think so, I don't know. You know, you should always ask these questions. If a company is gonna spend the kind of money, you know, on a, on a website like this, on printed materials, on, uh, you know, this entire campaign. This is like a, this is an expensive campaign. They're going to spend this much money. Why are they doing it? Why do they really want you to not join a union? You know, um, and it's got to be, it, it, it comes down to class conflict. The more money that you make and the more power that you have versus your employer, the less money they're going to have, you know, to buy their luxury yachts and Rolexes and all that BS and the less power they're going to have when it comes to exploiting and controlling you and your in your life and your work lives of you know of you and your fellow workers so that is why these corporations are so dead set against having their employees join unions and that's why you need to join one so it's a sad fact that if you're watching this video right now chances are you are not a member of a workers union and that is sad unions have helped workers for well over a century, well back into the 19th century, and, and even, you know, they have roots going back farther than that. And uh, and they're vitally needed today, desperately needed, especially 
in this current climate we have, where we have so many corporations and, and, and even small businesses that are so hostile to workers, and we have so much more worker action. We're seeing a lot of strikes, and we're seeing a lot of worker organization these days. And it's time for you, yes, you, to get in on all the fun. It's time for you to join a union. I don't care if you're a pastry chef or a sushi chef or a non-chef. There's a union that anyone can join, even if you're already in another union. There's one big union called the Industrial Workers of the World, and I'm going to drop some knowledge on you right now about how and why you should join. First, let's take a look at their home on the World Wide Web. All you got, uh, I got hair in my mouth. All you got to do is go to www.iww.org. It's a little confusing, but we'll figure it out together. I'll put a link in the description so you can just click it. You don't even have to type it in. And this is their website, iww.org. You should go ahead and follow them on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff if you're not already. This is the this is the little this is their little sabo cat. This is their mascot. Oh, it's the search button too. Oops, I searched for nothing. That was a waste of your time. Sorry. Okay. So this is their website. You can learn a lot about them and their history. They've done a lot of stuff for a very, very long time. In fact, 1905, founded in 1905, and they've done a lot of cool stuff since then. Um, so you can read all this literature if you want to learn more, but I'll give you the rundown. Um, basically, the IWW is one big union, and the whole idea, it, it's based on on the theory, the, the ideology, the idea of anarcho-syndicalism. Uh, and, you know, there were a lot of anarchists and, and leftists way back at the turn of the last century. That's weird to say. Yeah, around the 18, late 1800s, early 1900s. And they were union organizers. And the whole idea was they wanted to build one giant union that people from all trades and all, you know, businesses, people of every profession would join this one big union. And that gives us power across multiple fields, okay? And so the idea is that if we can build our ranks enough and if we can organize enough and have enough participation in a big union like this, then it gives us a lot of collective bargaining power in, in so many different ways. So for one thing, uh, if like hotel workers are being mistreated, it's entirely possible for other professions to have sympathy strikes. And, you know, and, and, the, and ultimately the idea is if enough people join a big union like this, and it's, it's entirely feasible, if enough people join a big union like this, we can have a general strike. And that's like the, that's like the end game. If we can have a general strike where people from every profession, like significant numbers of people from every profession go on strike simultaneously and demand massive reform, think of the power that gives us. Our labor is our power as, as workers. We as workers we can use our labor to leverage a better position for ourselves in society. People who are in unions and who, who, who have been playing this game for a long time realize that. Union workers continue to command substantial wage premium in their fields. Unionized registered nurses make an average of $75,000 a year, while non-union peers make $60,000. Bus drivers, powerful union workers, increasing their wages by $5 an hour on average. Uh, it, it, the benefits are very real. Okay. The, the, the benefits, the benefits of joining a union are very tangible. It takes commitment and it takes organization. Uh, but that is something that the IWW can help you with. So if you don't have any other option for a union to join, or if you have a union in your work site and you don't feel like they're doing enough to help you, to support you, if you feel like, you know, you want more, uh, participation from your union reps, Get in touch with the IWW. Um, and of course, especially if you don't have any other options, the IWW is a great alternative uh, if you don't have like a, a union already in place at your workplace. They will help you organize. So if you don't already have a union in your workplace and you want to organize one, you can get in touch with the IWW and they will walk you through. This. All you got to do is give them a phone call, drop them an email. They'll walk you through the whole process of setting up a union and getting your workplace organized. You just click join the IWW. Now I live in Vietnam. Okay. So ironically, there's not an IWW office in Vietnam. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this website. If you live in a place that has an IWW office, what you should do is call your local branch, which you could find here in the directory. So if you live in North America or any of these places, Australia, Europe, you can actually contact your local branch. 
So for instance, if I still live in South Carolina, I would go to these, oh, oh, that's sad. There is no South Carolina branch. South Carolina is not a very big union state. If you're in South Carolina, you need to get on the ball and help the IWW set up an office there. But if you live in South Dakota, which is very far from South Carolina, you could uh, send them an email and you can get in touch with your local branch. And that's probably the best way to do it. But if you don't have one in your area, if you live in South Carolina, for instance, you can do what I'm about to do and you can create a new account. Now, here's the cool thing about the IWW. They have a sliding scale for how much you pay. Uh, the most you would pay uh, if you're, you're really not in a good situation financially would be $6 per month. Okay. Um, and the most you would pay is $33 per month. But I think for most folks in the USA, you're going to be paying, I think, uh, between 150 and $250 per year. Okay. To join the IWW that they're doing construction downstairs. I hope that they're in a union. I hope that you're in a union. You Construction workers that are ruining my production about unions. Class traders. <laughs> I kid, I kid. So the IWW makes it very easy for you to afford membership, even if you're in a pretty rough financial situation. $6 a month, it's pretty low. It's cheaper than most like online television services. It's, a, it's, it's less than half the price of Netflix, for instance. Um, it is, it's, it's pretty cheap. Even if you're in a, a bad situation financially, uh, you can probably afford this. And the more of us who join these kinds of organizations, the more of us who join the IWW specifically, the more power we have collectively. So if you're a leftist and if you believe in worker organization and you think that this, this is something that we all need to be fighting for, uh, uh, obtaining more power for the working class and showing the capitalists that we have power in our labor, this is something you, you really should be investing in. There are situations where this might not make sense for you. For instance, if you're not working at all and you just, or you're, you're super financially strapped or, you know, maybe some people with disabilities. Um, but, but, uh, for most people who are working, this makes perfect sense. And it's something that you should do. I would, I personally will rank this, uh, you know, like you, you gotta buy, you gotta pay for your like home to live in and your food. And I would put the, the union dues like, right below that, honestly, because this is so important. This is such an important part of being a leftist is, is collectivizing and showing our strength as the working class. You know, that we need to show these capitalists once again, as our ancestors did, like, you know, way back when, when unions were very strong, uh, we need to, we need to build up that power again and build up that strength and show the capitalists that we mean business and that we are intent on affecting change in the workplace. And that's what this is all about. So, um, you know, you can decide what, what level is right for you. Uh, go ahead and confirm your contribution and you'll be well on your way to being a wobbly, which by the way, people in the IWW are called wobblies. Fun fact. I don't know why though. And it turns out nobody really knows why IWW members are called wobblies. Even the IWW doesn't know why they're called wobblies. But I like this theory. Wobbling the works is a code for sabotage. I like that theory. This is my favorite theory. So that's really all I've got to say about that. You, you, the, the IWW is a fantastic organization. You can check them out on Twitter, see the stuff that they're doing. They just organized a freelance journalist union. You know, and those are, and I can tell you as a freelancer, Freelancers are very vulnerable, okay? We are very vulnerable to exploitation. I was a freelancer for years, and freelancers get, like, the worst of both worlds. We get all the, the, the crap of being an employee with none of the scant benefits that employees have. It's a very unstable lifestyle. And freelance journalists, you know, in this work environment, in this, in this uh, market that we have, it's a, it's a rough job. So the fact that they were able to organize a union for freelance journalists, that's huge. That's going to help a lot of people. And the more of us who join, the more they can organize, you know, specialized unions for whatever industry you're in. Uh, get in touch with them right now. Go find a branch in your area. If there's not one, just get in touch with the, you know, the general uh, contact information that they have and ask them what you need to do to get started organizing if your workplace is not organized already. And this is very important. This is as important. This is where the, the rubber hits the road in terms of leftism. You know, it, 
we have to start coming together and organizing and doing things in the real world, doing things in our workplaces, doing things in our communities. Okay, all this YouTube stuff and the online organizing and stuff, that's very important. And if that's all that you can do, then that's fantastic and I'm glad you're doing it. But if you can do something as simple as this, as joining the IWW, getting a membership card, going to some meetings, getting in touch with some union salt Union salting is when you start a union, basically, in a, in a workplace that doesn't have one. Uh, getting in touch with some people who can, who can advise you on union salting. Get the ball rolling in your life right now. Uh, talk to your coworkers if you, if, you, if you feel comfortable doing so. If you're not comfortable doing so, the IWW can walk you through it and give you advice on how to start those conversations and how to get the ball rolling. I can't really stress how important this is. This is the kind of real-world activity that can absolutely make a difference. This is the kind of thing that can change the world. If, en if enough of us buy into this, if enough of us believe in this, and if enough of us participate, we can change the world. We can make a better life for all the working people of the world. But it has to start with you, and it has to start with me. We've got to join these unions. We've got to organize. We've got to collectivize and show strength in numbers and show solidarity. Okay, this is what leftism really means. So I hope that you're... Not just interested, I hope that you're excited about this. This is important stuff. It's fun stuff, okay? This is the stuff that we should be taking joy in, is organizing. This is what it means to be a leftist. And this is your chance to step up to the plate and take a swing at making a difference in the world. So that's all I got to say. I hope that right after this video is concluded, if you're not already a member of the IWW, you'll click on over to www.iww.org. You'll read some of their literature and, and seriously consider joining. And that's it. That's all I've got for this quick rise. I'm American Johnson. This is Not Compete. Thank you for watching once again. We'll see you next time. Take care of each other. Better wake up, partner. Of course, here comes that fresh energy you need. Yes, now he'll perk up and feel peppy again with energy building communism.